Enough is enough. 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 That was workers of the Mount Gay Hospital expressing their frustration as they were out in the form of protests outside their workplace on Monday morning. Union representative of the workers told GBN that the action taken by the workers comes after months of alleged physical and verbal abuse they received from a doctor at the mental facility. President of the Public Workers Union, Brian Grimes, spoke of some of the reports they received from workers. Um, verbal abuse. Um, borderline physical altercation. One of the nurses, the male nurses, were actually collared um, by this said worker. And you understand, the workers here are already operating under very, very stressful um, conditions. And this just exacerbates the whole matter of working at the Mongi Mental Health Institute. Um, some of the things that the, the doctor is saying is very misogynistic, um, meaning now that there is heavy prejudice against, against women. For example, you say women are dogs um, where I come from. I'm a doctor and you have to yield um, to whatever I say. So this is the sort of attitude that is happening here and the workers are extremely concerned. The understanding is he's from Africa. Um, hence the reason why he said where I'm from, um, where I'm from, women are like dogs, right? And this is a very, very unfortunate statement where the, the, the female ratio at this facility is very, very high. So we have situations where consultants um, um, say they cannot work with this individual from top to bottom. Every level has an uh, issue with this, with, this, with, this, with this man. And in fact, the residents, some of the residents are saying this, this is not good enough. Residents, we're talking about mental health patients. So the president indicated that the present situation can escalate if it is not addressed immediately. Grimes told the media government is aware of the situation as they have been in written correspondence with them on the matter from the end of November. Ministry of Health, the hierarchy from there, um, contacted the union on the 23rd of November. Uh, we got official correspondence on the 1st of December from our shop steward. Then the union wrote on the 5th of December to the Ministry of Health about the matter. And on the 12th of December, the ministry responded saying that the matter is before the Public Service Commission. And, even bef and after that, we sent up a representative here, the executive secretary, to investigate the matter, to hear the testimony of the workers. Because dealing with the matter is before us, um, the bureaucracy can take an extensive period of time with these matters. So we are here as an appeal to sort of ensure that um, it happens sooner rather than later in trying to um, remedy this situation. And, and remedy, um, to define it exactly, is to remove the individual from the workspace. Grimes says workers can no longer wait as the situation at their workplace is now overbearing. He says something needs to be done now. And we are here because prevention is better than cure. So we are making a call. We are making a call to the authorities, an appeal. This is, not, this is an appeal to the authorities to do something immediately um, because the workers are at their wit's end. With this, with this doctor. Um, we also, based on our investigation, understand that this particular individual has a file this thick related to working in other places. Um, we are asking for his immediate removal. Are you at your last straw, workers? Yes, yes. we are. What we can say, until this matter is fixed, you will see the workers outside here Hello. one hour every day until this matter is remedied as a form of protest and appeal for assistance to the authorities in this matter. GBN contacted Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Health, Desri Stephen, on the matter and was told that she is unable to comment. For GBN News, I am Rena Pet Thomas reporting.